How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video. Right guys, I wasn't going to cover this story. I'm deciding I'm going to cover it. I've, I've started a little read um, and obviously you know how passionate I am about prisons and prisoners per se. Um, this is a story in the Liverpool Echo uh, and it's about neighbours rage as plans to house former prisoners and addicts in old Liverpool pub are approved. Now the idea is it's going to be for about rehabilitation. It's going to be people that have left like a rehabilitation programs or prison um, rather than being kicked into like uh, on the streets and being homeless and falling back into criminality and drug use and stuff. Um, they're trying to change their lives. They're engaging with drug treatment programs and they're leaving. And then obviously other ones are prisoners. Some might have had addiction problems and have left prison. Others have been in rehabilitation and stuff uh, for, like I say, drug misuse and stuff like that and alcohol misuse. Uh, Neighbours are raging about it. Um, would you much rather they just be kicked onto the street, fall back into the old same pattern of criminality and drug taking, and then have to feed that drug taking by... Uh, feed that habit of drug taking by breaking into potentially your house or your car. Do you know what I mean? Or, or mugging one of your relatives or elderly relatives. Is that the way you want it to go? These people are absolutely short-sighted, clueless and ignorant. And the media play a big part in like the misconceptions around prisoners. A lot of good kids in prison and a lot of people in prison that given... The, the chance, the opportunity, or like that energy they've got to, to, to channel it and put it, direct it down a route that will lead to employment and purposeful activity and becoming a productive member of society. Um, do you know what I mean? People want to better themselves and prison, not every prisoner wants to sit there and smoke spice and get off, he's not in prison. No, no, no. A lot of people want to engage and stuff and want to get courses and stuff, but there's no consistency with courses within the country. Do you know what I mean? Um, Rather than making prisoners out of our students, let's make students out of our prisoners. Um, but the, the the key word here is rehabilitation. And I'm going to read the story, guys, because I'm going to stop waffling on. Um, so this is in the Echo. Link in the description below, like I always do. Headline reads, Burn in hell. Neighbours rage as plans to house former prisoners and addicts in old Liverpool pub are approved. Hundreds of people had opposed the plans before the crunch meeting today. Now, it was the old Cuffs bar, which is in Waverty, right? It says there were shouts of disgrace and shame as controversial living centre for recovered, that's the key word, recovered addicts and former prisoners in a high street was approved by Liverpool Council today. The dramatic scenes, sorry, the dramatic scenes came after hours of deliberations by councillors and included one woman telling applicants behind the plans that she hoped they would burn in hell. It means the former Cuffs pub, um, in Wavertree High Street can be now turned into a 17 bedroom centre for people who have come out of rehabilitation programmes for addiction as well as those who have been in prison. The permission is valid for one year initially, after which Vitality Living, the company looking to run the centre, will convince planners to let, to let it stay open. So it's an initial temporary 12 months, let's see how we go. Um, I think it'll be a great success. Um, 12 residents and three councillors spoke against the application with many more present in the chamber for the debate. Hundreds objected to the plans which are backed by millionaire businesswoman uh, Kate Stewart prior to the meeting. Neighbours voiced concerns about the potential for more crime as well as the effects on nearby businesses. Well, again, the, 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 right, like I say, there's always the possibility that they could fall back into addiction. Um, but they are, like I say, they are former drug addicts. Former drug addicts, former prisoners, right? And like I say, would you rather them be on the streets and stuff like that? They've got a membrane, a foundation to work up from here. I support this massively. Um, they've also questioned the logic of having such a centre in close proximity to four pubs. Well, it said drug addicts. It didn't say alcoholics. It said drug addicts. And former prisoners, and like I say, a lot of prisoners have battled with demons, i.e. alcohol misuse and drug misuse and stuff. Um they're not bothered about the locality of the, the the building to four pubs. They're just trying to use that as an excuse. Very short-sighted, these people. Um, it's In its planning application, Vitality Homes insisted the required policies and procedures to manage and operate within an environment such as this will be drawn up in conjunction and following all local and governmental guidelines and legislation. A statement from the company said the company will operate and manage the accommodation employing professionally trained personnel who will have experience of the specialised sector of accommodation provision. 
Some councils had raised concerns over the preparedness uh, of the company to run the centre, which it says would be its first venture in this area. Committee member Joe Hansen called aspects of Vitality's uh, living's plans a dog's breakfast. Company representative John Conley was at the meeting admitted he had not spoken to social services and the police in detail formally about the proposal. But because those issues are the responsibility of other agencies and not the city's planners specifically, uh, the committee were advised that the application could possibly be appealed successfully if they rejected it. Committee Chair Councillor Tricia O'Brien reminded councillors before the vote plans for a previous centre were rejected by the committee only to be approved on appeal to the Planning Inspectorate. Speaking to the Echo last year, the plans, Miss Stewart said, this is all about where people go after they've been treated for their addiction and we shouldn't be turning our backs on people who are on the road to recovery. No, they shouldn't. Uh, this is the precise moment that support is needed. A million percent. It doesn't help when we're talking, uh, sorry, when we are trying to achieve this is misrepresented uh, over the next few weeks we'll be working to demonstrate that this is a sheltered living scheme that will help people to return to a better life. It would be heartless if the proposal was blocked because everyone deserves a second chance at life. Yes, they do. After plans were approved, Wavertree Councillor uh, Claire McIntyre said, thanks to all Wavertree uh, residents and all areas, PCSOs are laying. They spent most of the day at the planning committee in order to make their voices heard. We welcome the planning approval has been granted on a temporary basis. 12 months to advise support and intervention from our social services, probation and police can take place. We will monitor this development very closely and the impact on living on our local community. Now, like I say, it can go the other way, a million percent. Not everyone that like, is on the road to recovering from an addiction stays on that um, road. I mean, some people do, as they call, relapse, which means they fall back on it or they use drugs once again. Um, sometimes you can have the problem where if you've got uh, addictive natures, let's say, addictive uh, tendencies, um, and you're surrounded with other prisoners, prisoners that might have also dealt with addiction and stuff like that from low level, like low class, like recreational drugs up to hardcore uh, drugs, class A heroin, um, like I say, heroin, crack cocaine and things like that. Now, if one of them starts seeking it, he could like, because it's all about willpower, isn't it? Now they might say, oh, come on, just try it. Come on, come on, let's just just get off. I'm not like, I've got three bags. I've got three bags of like brown which is heroin for, for for 25 quid come on let's just get off our not citric acid they do what they do um and that like i say that there is the possibility they can relapse and buy housing prisoners uh, sorry um addicts with former addicts sorry with like other former addicts they could encourage each other to take drugs if one falls off the wagon they could drag two or three in uh, hopefully that isn't the case and like i say i support this uh initiative massively it, it's very practical um liberty living um vitality living sorry they sound like they need to get their act together quite sharp as it sounds like it is quite half-hearted um for them it's about financial gain um hopefully they actually implement this and get the right professionals to work within the building um 24 hours a day seven days a week round the clock give them that moral support help them get their benefits help them get into work put them forward for courses if they've not already done courses whilst they've been in prison or in the rehabilitation courses um and try to direct and help these people not all of them will succeed guys a lot of them might fall by the wayside but at the same time um a lot of people will use it as a um stepping stone or like um like a leap spring like a spring leap onto something bigger and better um and like i say guys it's how we treat people um whilst in prison and like i say these people that are suffering with addictions it's how we treat them and reintegrate with them and re-engage with them um there will be successful people from this scheme i believe so million percent there'll also be those that fall back into old patterns of behavior because it is very very hard to do but the fact they've seek, sought help for their addictions or they may have been made to go like i say the doctor or the the, the courts might say look or the probation or on a um pre-sentence report they might say look we can work with him for his offenses like alcohol related or drug related we can work within the community put him on rehabilitation courses and try and do it that way other people have obviously ended up in prison trying to better themselves guys that's what it's about and we, we as a society we owe it to give people a second chance no one's an angel everyone's made mistakes in their lives good bad or indifferent some people have made more than others i've made my, a lot myself um but like i say these people on the right side of the tracks don't want to demonize this 
They, they, they're white, they've got to be whiter than white. And the reality is they're not. And they're not looking at the bigger picture. They're looking at the short term. And it's very short sighted and it's a very knee jerk reaction. Um, hopefully this comes to fruition. Um, I, I understand they're doing it for 12 months and then it could be potentially ongoing. The truth is it's got to prove that it works. Um, like I say, this vitality living, let's just hope it's not a money making exercise for them. And then they're using susceptible people to do that. Hopefully it could lead on. Like I said, these people, once they get in there, it'll be, it should be like a, a temporary sort of thing for a few months. Uh, they put their house on down for the like um, housing and stuff like that, the benefits, potential to get them into work, part-time work, volunteering, keep the minds busy, keep the minds occupied and give something back to society. Um, yeah, man. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop waffling on that. I feel strongly about this very much so. Uh, it's not what about what I think. It's about what you think. You might disagree with me or agree with me. You might half agree with me. You might half disagree with me. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.